Hey guys, Erin here with LaCour Couture, and today I'm going to be talking about Baroque pearls and everything you need to know about them. But before we get started, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and let's get right into it. You may be saying to yourself, what the heck is a Baroque pearl? And we're going to talk about it. So Baroque pearls are stunning. They're my favorite. I've actually introduced them a lot into my 2022 collections, and I just so happen to be wearing Baroque pearls right now. And the great thing about them, when you look up close, there's this super iridescent shine on them that are just stunning. I mean, a Baroque pearl is honestly so timeless, gorgeous, and just matches everything, and you could wear for decades. As you know, pearls have been around for centuries and centuries. They're in beautiful crowns for queens and kings, and they have just been around forever. They're totally iconic, and they're really making a comeback in 2022, and I'm super pumped about it because my collection is going to be dripping in pearls, and especially Baroque pearls. What makes Baroque pearls super unique is that they actually have this like opal luster to them. They're not as flat and as creamy white as like a regular pearl. So I personally have always been really attracted to the Baroque pearls because they have that iridescent and they just kind of take it up a notch. I am personally in love. Also, regular pearls are typically going to be found in a round bead like we all know. But Baroque pearls is so unique because they come in like all different shapes and sizes. I mean, look at these pearls that I'm wearing right now. They're almost like in a rectangle form, totally unique. That's what's so fun is you can get creative and just adding that texture of a different shape even on something as timeless as pearls makes all the difference. Another interesting fun fact that you may not know about pearls in general is that when we think of pearls, we think of oysters, we think of the ocean, but something good to know is that Baroque pearls are actually freshwater pearls. So they're more associated with rivers and lakes and things like that. Now let's talk about the different shapes that Baroque pearls come in. There are quite a few shapes and some of them have really fun names. So the first shape is the potato shape, which is like a chunky, thicker pearl. Super gorgeous, perfect for an earring, you know, to make a statement. Next up, we have the teardrop pearl, which is stunning and obvious it's in the shape of a tear or like a pear. Baroque pearls also come in the shape of a coin, which are going to be like super flat and thin. And they kind of are like, they have like a wider spread. So they're a little bit larger and super fun and unique. There's also a shape of Baroque pearls called the rice size. And this is actually like a very, very thin, tiny rice shape pearl that you can use into clusters and make larger pieces all together with. Baroque pearls are seriously the perfect way for you to take a very timeless, material a timeless look of the pearl but just make it unique fun with all the different shapes and sizes that they offer i am totally in love with baroque pearls and i can't wait for you all to see what i have in store for them for 2022 and if you want to check out my jewelry and other videos make sure you check out the links in the descriptions below and if you want to keep learning about all things la corcator jewelry fashion fun make sure to check out one of my videos above me and i'll see you in the next one bye guys